Welcome back to The Potato Show, where today I am going to be discussing Colleen Ballinger blatantly breaking the law. Boop, boop, potato show, I need a better intro, whoop, whoop. I'll get straight to the point. Quick context. Colleen Ballinger hired a fan, or was going to hire a fan, named Adam, here. This wouldn't be the first time I had hired a fan. I love hiring my fans for many reasons. He was 17 at the time, and she had known him for years which is gonna be part of the whole shebang. It is weird, it is weird. For the purposes of this video, that's all you need to know. So Colleen Ballinger is in California. She is a California-based company. That is where the laws, the employment laws apply for her. Disclaimer, I am not a lawyer. I am just someone who went through almost exactly this situation and won legally. Now Colleen herself states that she has a test run period with her employees, her fans. She mentions in her Addressing Everything video, she hires her fans regularly. She has them perform the job, and then if she decides that she likes them, then she will hire them officially. I've hired my fans to design merch. I've hired fans to go on tour with me. I've hired fans to edit things for me. And how hiring my employees works is I usually do a little test run to see how it goes. If it goes well, then I hire them officially through my company and they are paid legally through the corporation. It was no different for him. I wanted to do a little test run. If it went well, then I wanted to hire him. So I gave him access to my account and he started tweeting stuff for me. I gave him access to my account and he started tweeting stuff for me. This means that the performance of the job is a requirement and precursor to hiring. In California, if you do not pay your employee or potential employee for that time, you are breaking the law. I am only saying she broke the law if she performed the actions that she spoke of in this video. Her words. Now, Colleen herself says that she had Adam perform the job, log into her account, tweet, and then she decided she didn't like it, so she didn't hire him. However, the mandatory training she still had him go through and did not pay him. So why do I know this? Well, I went through the same thing. I'm not going to name the company. They have already settled and whatnot, but the company had a mandatory training period that they were not paying employees for. You were told that you were not officially hired until you completed the training period. And then once that occurred, then you would get the job, but they didn't pay for it. I was pretty young at the time. I was actually Adam's age. I was 17. I did not realize that what they were doing was against the law. They later had a class action lawsuit brought against them and settled as well as paying me back some back wages that they had owed me separately for a completely different breakage of the law. This company was terrible, truly terrible. But as someone who was who went through a lawsuit against a company who did this exact thing, I can tell you that it's not legal. So Colleen, if I were you, I would take that video down because you have blatantly admitted to breaking California employment law. I'm laughing a little bit because there, this video has millions of views and she's saying it as though it is completely normal. I'm going to be posting a timeline later on, much like I did with the Ned video, because wow, does this run deep. But I just could not resist mentioning this. It, it's just baffling. How do you sit there and say with your full chest that you did something super illegal and then act like that was you being in the right and you're, you have the moral high ground? No, you exploited a 17 year old for free child labor. According to you, I mean. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's it. <laughs> Subscribe for daily shorts and other commentary videos about things like this. Bye. This was my fault. 